Hi, I'm Donna. Welcome to Ready to Stamp. Today is um, Fun Fold Friday, and I'd really like to show you this card. I can't wait for you to see it. It's a different way of folding a card. Um, so, um, are you ready to get started and learn how to do this Fun Fold? All right, so here's the card. And you can see that there's it opens differently. And it just gives you a different way of sending a card. And so I'm going to show you how to make this today. So we have a piece of um, Calypso Coral cardstock cut at eight by three and a quarter. And then we have the um, designer series paper from the best day ever, um, free when you purchase. 50 for when you purchase $50 and that is cut at three and three quarters by three and this is coastal cabana and it's cut at eight and a quarter by four and a quarter and we're going to score that at five and a half and then we have a piece of the same designer series paper just different color and it's going to be cut at two and a half by four. And then we have a piece for the inside that's cut the same as this designer series paper, which is three and three quarters by three. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get this part of the card put together. I'm going to score this, this one at five and a half. Now make sure that when you are scoring it, that you are scoring with the light gray. The dark gray is for cutting. And I put an S on there to remember score. So we're going to score at five and a half. And then on the coastal, I mean the Calypso Coral, we're going to score at four. You could either score it or just fold it in half. Now, what I like to do with these is I like to make sure I use my bone folder. So make sure you get a good crisp fold. Okay. So now let's go ahead and put our let's go ahead and put down the designer series paper. Now you could choose either side. Um, in fact, I really like this side, so I'm going to come up with something to do with this this color. I really love that color. So I'm going to get my, my um, yeah, I'm going to get my snail adhesive and I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of this. And I'm going to um, center that on here on a Calypso Coral piece. Love how that matches. So then I'm going to take, you could either, you could do either side that you wanted to. Um, that is a tiny bit busy for me, but some people may think that is just awesome. If you like that, go for it. Um, but I'm going to use the striped side. So I'm going to put the snail adhesive on the other side. And I'm going to center it on there, on the Coastal Cabana piece. Okay, then I'm going to take Calypso Coral, and you want to be careful not to set this down on here because you don't want it to stick yet until you get it centered the way you like it. So I just kind of hold it above a little bit, and then I get it centered, try to get it straight. There you go. Okay, there's that. The greeting that I'm using is called Lots of Thanks. So Lots of Thanks, I'm going to use the you just give, 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 thanks, thanks, thanks. That's what I used on the other card on the inside right here. That's what I used for that. But I think I'm going to do something different. This is not going to be necessarily a thanks card. Well, I guess it is because 
um, I'm using the thank you um, stamp set. So I'm going to use early espresso. And I'm going to just put in thanks for caring. Of course, we're going to clean it off. My uh, cleaner needs cleaned really bad. That's why I'm doing this extra little bit over here. So I need to clean off my scrubby. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, this is Hello Thinlets. And yes, it comes in an envelope from Stampin' Up! But I have a place that I have... Um, I have a little box, a wooden box that I hold it in, that I store them in, and um, I have this ma magnetic piece that I hold them onto. And so, before I use the thanks, it has thanks, happy, and you. And this time I'm going to use the hello. And so, um, I'm going to put it on the magnetic board. And I'm sure everyone has seen this already, but you put a, um, no, so you're going to take this and put a dryer sheet down, paper, and then your, um, wax paper, and then you're going to put your, um, greeting, the hello, right on top. And then I'm going to put the, um, top plate on. So then you take the, take this off, take the hello off. And I'm going to show you what to do with this wax paper because I just think it's absolutely cool what you can do with the wax paper. So stay tuned for that. Um, so now I'm going to grab the hello and watch how easy it is to come up. Look at that. And you pop that out, and you can use your wax paper again and again. So the way I put this on my card, I take our Tombow Multi-Liquid Tombow Glue, and I'm going to, on the opposite side, I'm going to put just some dabs of glue, because I don't want it to seep through. So I just put some here and there. And um, I basically do it on the pieces. There's little, you know, there's there's some that when it overlaps, and then I get some at the top. You don't need much because believe me, it will stick. Okay. So then you're just gonna put this on here, and glue it down. I like to do it at an angle. So then you're just going to hold it down for a couple seconds for the glue to grab a hold of the paper. And if you notice that there's some spots that aren't really glued down very well, it'll be okay because the rest of the glue will hold it. Now I'm going to take where I put the thank you for caring. I'm going to snail adhesive the back center that and this is where you can put your um, your greeting you can sign your name you can you know just um, just write on this page right here okay now we need a way to hold it down don't we so you know what I'm going to use a piece, uh, one of these I'm going to use this time I'm going to use the Calypso Coral and I'm going to stick that on there, but I'm going to use the um, dimensionals. I'm going to put one in the center. And you'll notice you can use either side. You have the smooth side, and you also have the um, ridges. I like the ridges. So I'm just going to set that in the center. Actually, I'm going to push it over to the side a little bit. Whoops. Stuck to my nail. Okay. So we're going to set this on, but you want to be really careful that you're not going to tape down this part. So you're going to 
Hopefully line it up. Line it up. See? Now I'm going to take the, um, yeah, what am I going to take? I'm going to take some of this baker's twine and I'm going to tie a bow. You can hear my kitty. He wants in. He's going to have to wait though, right? Because I'm busy. Okay, so you just play with it until it's the size you want it. And by the way, this is early espresso. I'm going to take a uh, glue dot. I'm going to put the glue dot on the back. And then I kind of roll it up because it's a little bit too um, wide for it, for the bow, because the bow's kind of skinny. So I'm just going to kind of um, roll it up on it itself. And I want it on the button. So I'm going to stick it on the button. So it looks like I'm, I tied it in there. So now I'm going to trim it off, give it a little haircut. And there you have it. Here's the two different cards that we made or the one that I made ahead of time. And here's another one with the hello. And I think somebody would really enjoy getting these cards, don't you? Thanks for stopping by Ready to Stamp and happy creating.